FlossTube. I am back with another video and today I thought I would go through my dimensions kits that I have in my stash. Um, I was completely overwhelmed by the number of people who asked me on my dimensions gold collection whip parade video to also show my dimensions kits that I have in my stash. So happy to do that. Um, I kind of made a mistake when I was counting my kits in my parade video, my whip parade video, because I think I put that I had 18 kits. But what I realized after that was that I wasn't counting my gold collection petites kits and I wasn't counting my non gold collection, just the regular dimensions kits. So I actually have a few more than 18. Wait, SpongeBob! We're not cavemen! We have technology! But I'll show them to you today, so you can see what I have in my stash. Um, I love going through videos that people are showing what they have because a lot of times when I'm looking at someone's video, seeing the kits they have, I didn't, I didn't even know they existed. I don't even know to look for them. And it, not that I need any more, but at the same time, it's really nice to know it's out there. Um, so I'm gonna start with, first of all, saying thank you to those who are returning. Um, like I said, I'm just like blown away by how many people are interested in seeing um, Dimensions Gold Collection in particular, because I see a lot of people who do um, you know, leaflets and they do a lot of samplers and they do a lot of um, smalls and full coverage, but I really don't see that many videos of people who, you know, focus just on Dimensions Gold Collection or Dimensions Kits. And so when I find a video like that, I'm just, I just, anyway, thank you so much for, you know, coming and seeing my channel and being interested in, in Dimensions Kits because I, I love them. I think they're so much fun to work on. They're usually really co colorful. They usually have really beautiful themes. The artists are amazing. Lena Liu, her designs are fantastic and she has several. So anyway, I'm gonna just uh, thank you again. And if you're new here and you wanna check out my previous video I did, I guess it was a couple of videos ago, I did a, a Dimension Skull Collection Parade of the Whips, which are the kits I've already started that I have in progress. Um, you might wanna check that one out too, so anyway jump into it. I'm going to start with my regular dimensions kits first and then I'll show you my petites and then I'll show you my um, gold collection kits that I have. All right let's begin. So the first one that I have is uh, called Glory of Autumn and this is going to be tough. I'm going to try not to get glare but if I do um, I apologize. So this is called Glory of Autumn this one has been around for a long time. In fact, Jesse Marie does stuff. Jesse Marie is working on this one right now. And she switched out the kit Ada for, it was either linen or even weave. I think she might've chosen linen. And I think she was, I don't know, check out her channel. She's got some progress updates on this recently that she's worked on it. And I think she was saying that she maybe thought linen wasn't the best idea. Um, when I work on Dimensions kits, I don't like to swap out for linen. I have swapped out for um, even weave if it's a pattern that has a lot of the background that's showing. Um, a lot of times, I, I mean, to me it doesn't really matter. People aren't looking at the fabric anyway, they're looking at the design. But if there is a pattern, like I showed you before my winter ride that I had finished, I showed that in a previous video. Um, I did switch that one out for even weave because there was a lot of white space or, or background that wasn't stitched in that design. So I decided on that one to swap it out, but most of the time I don't. I'll just use whatever's in the kit. And I really like Ada, especially on um, full coverage. So if a Dimensions kit has almost the whole thing that's covered in stitches, and you're using three or four or sometimes five or six strands of thread when you're stitching. I like Ada because it's a little bit stiffer for me. It's a little bit more um, of a, a solid fabric to work with. Linen would be 
terribly difficult, I think, because it's a very, um, it's not as strong of a fabric to work with. And I think it doesn't lend itself to pulling up those multiple strands through the holes as easily. I think it distorts the threads a little bit easier. So anyway, that's just my opinion. Um, this is a beautiful kit. I would love to work on this one. Um, but I'm going to say that about probably every single kit that I show you that I would love to be working on it. But 2022 for me is a year of getting things done that I've already started, not starting new things. And I'm trying really hard not to start anything new. It's really hard. <laughs> not trying. So, all right. So that's number one. The next one I'm going to show you is called Teacup Birds. And this is one that my daughter got for me for Mother's Day last year. I think it's adorable. She knows I love birds. She knows I love teacups. And I think that's really, really cute. Let me get it up close. Yeah, that one looks like it would be, it would stitch up pretty quickly. This one does have quite a bit of background behind it. I might consider swapping out a white even weave instead of the, the kit. Ada. It comes with 14 count Ada. Um, I don't know. I haven't decided yet. Anyway, that's a cute one. I'm trying not to crinkle these too as I go, but I mean, they're still in packaging plastic, so sorry if it's too loud. The next one is called Santa and Snowman Ornaments. And this one, as you can see up here, I got it on 50% off one year after Christmas. I think it was at Joanne's. And they had it in their holiday aisle, and I was just happened to be walking through there and saw it and thought, hmm, 50% off. That's that's pretty good. $7.99. I'll take that. Look at those cute little ornaments. They're adorable. Yeah, those are really cute. So I'll get you the Santa and snowman ornaments. And this one comes with a whole lot of little stars. You can see in the in the background here there's a bunch of little stars there and it also comes with the, the fabric to finish it with too it's their felt the felt that goes on the back of the ornaments all right the next one is called call of the wilderness and this is another one that i got on clearance i'm always looking for deals on kits you can find um, not as much anymore i used to find a lot of discount uh, kits at joann's and hobby lobby and not, well, Michael's too, but not as much lately from any of them, really. Hobby Lobby, I used to find a ton. Um, I found the cutest, oh, anyway, sorry, another video. Um, <laughs> I don't want to go on tangents. I just want to get, you know, walk you through what I'm here to walk you through today. But I think this is amazing. Call of the Wilderness. I love wolves. I love nature. Any kits with wildlife in them, especially this. I thought it looked very, sorry about the, there's like a tear in the packaging. Um, but anyway, I, I thought that was a very nice wolf pattern and a lot of coverage in there, a lot of stitch dyed, uh, stitch squares. Um, I would have thought there would have been a little bit more background, like if you're using, I guess it's gray, it's a gray Ada, um, but I would have thought that there would be less of it stitched, but it's really this area right in here is the only area that's not stitched on this one. This one looks to me almost more like a gold collection. I'm surprised um, at the detail in this one. The next one is called Christmas Pals Ornaments. And this is another one that I got after Christmas one year in the clearance area at, I'm pretty sure it was Joann's. Um, or my, it could have been Michael's. It was one of the two. And again, just walking down an aisle and saw it there and thought, those are so cute. Look at the little ornaments. And I thought, you know, some of these small ornament kits, these would make great Christmas cards. Like you could easily just stitch up a square and then put it on some cardstock, some some red or colorful cardstock, and send that to someone. I think those would be adorable. So I don't know that I will stitch these up as um, ornaments or not. I think I think Christmas cards would be cute. That's that one. Next one is called Lovely Victorian Home. And this one's really pretty. It's an oval. I think that's so cool. I haven't seen a lot of Dimensions kits where it's an oval, where it would have an oval mat in it. You know, you can see on the kit front that it, it's framed with an oval mat. I think that's really pretty. This was a gift that I got from my mother and father-in-law for Christmas one year. And I, it's so beautiful. I always thought, yep, wouldn't that be beautiful to live 
and a beautiful Victorian home along the water with the flowers and oh, that looks that looks like a dream home to me. So I can imagine that when I, when I say when I'm going to stitch on this, if I stitch on this, I can imagine that the whole time that I'm stitching this, I'm going to be dreaming about living in this house. <laughs> so yeah, really pretty. And the last one of the regular Dimensions kits is the Dolphin's Domain. And this was a Christmas gift from my husband one year. He knows that I love dolphins. I love nature. I love animals. And I particularly love dolphins. And anyway, I thought that was really, really pretty. Beautiful design with... And there's four dolphins and there's four people in my family. So I always imagine this one is like representing the four people in my family, which is, I know, it's kind of silly, but stitching is about an escape, right? It's about pretending things to be another world or a different place. And I can just fall into this world as I'm stitching it. It just, that's the love of stitching is, uh, that's in my opinion, that's what I think. So, all right, I'm gonna move on to the next segment, which is gonna be the gold collection petite kits that I have. All right, my first gold collection petite that I'm gonna show you is called Stacked Teacups. Sorry, I'm having a hard time getting this so it's not gonna show a glare, but I'll do the best that I can. Stacked teacups, I think that's so pretty. I mean, I don't, what more can I say? I mean, just look at it. It's birds, it's teacups. I already have a kit that has birds and teacups, but that's okay, this is another one. It's adorable. All right, next one is, oh, this one, I love this one. Flowers and Hummingbird. This one I searched for on eBay because I saw it stitched up and I, look at the hummingbird, oh my goodness, and the flowers. So I finally found it on eBay, and I think I got it from someone in the UK, and they shipped it here to the US for me. Isn't that beautiful? Flowers and hummingbirds. And of course, you know, the, you'll see a theme in everything that I love. It's nature, it's birds, it's winter scenes and snowmen, and I mean, what else is there? <laughs> Teacups. <laughs> the next one is called Cliffside Beacon. And you're going to see a glare. You can see my phone. It's kind of funny. There, maybe that's... Some of these are just a little bit too much glare on them. So there's a whole Lighthouse series. The, the miniatures, um, the petites. There's, I think, three or four of the Lighthouse um, kits. And I don't have them all. I have a couple of them, but this one is really pretty. And the next one is called Warm and Fuzzy. If you've seen my whip parade, you've seen I already have two teddy bear dimensions gold collection kits on the go. So <laughs> gotta have all the teddy bears. This is a smaller one. It's so cute. I could see this one being made into a birth sampler, you know, you could put the, you could make it just a little bit bigger and just have a little bit of area at the bottom where you put a child's name and their date of birth. So it's warm and fuzzy. Next one you've probably seen, I mean, you've probably seen all of these before. I'm not showing probably anything new. I probably like a lot of the same things that other people like, but this one is called A Kiss for Snowman. And I'm guessing that most people have seen this one. A lot of people stitched it up last year. I was seeing it on Instagram and whip parades and finish parades. This is a gorgeous, gorgeous design. It's so adorable. Oh, Yeah, I really want to do this one too. <laughs> I want to do them all. Um, the next one is called Hydrangea in Bloom. I'm not sure what to say about this one. I think it's really pretty. I don't know that it's going to be my first choice if I were to pick one of my petites to stitch. 
I mean, it's really pretty, but I think I gravitate more toward like, the snowmen and the snow scenes and the birds and nature. I don't know. I just, I mean, it's flowers so it's nature, but I don't know. It's pretty. I think it's really pretty. I'm just not sure. It's not in my top 10, maybe. I'll just put it that way. But I like it. Next one is called Butterfly Vignette. Another one that I think is fairly popular that people have stitched before. And a lot of times if I see these petites on sale or if, if there's a coupon at my, for Michael's and they have these petites that are at Michael's or Joann's or Hobby Lobby, I'll just use a 40% off coupon, 40% off regular price. And that's how I've added a, several of these to my collection is just seeing them and using a 40% off coupon. And the next one is called Friends of the Snowman. And I got this one because I thought it would be a nice companion piece to my other snowman. If I can't point, I don't know how to point. All right, so that's my um, Midnight Snowman that I finished back in 2005. And I thought this would be a really nice companion piece if I ever stitched it. And look, it's got little cardinals. They're so cute. Oh, it's not focusing. I'm sorry. Oh, I think that's so adorable. The snowman and the little cardinals. So what's really funny is when I pick out kits, I don't really think about the threads that are in them. I just like the designs. But I almost, I really, really, really dislike stitching with white thread. And yet I look at a whole lot of my kits that I have and a lot of patterns that I have and they're full of white. They're full of white thread. Like, why do I love winter scenes so much when I know that's all I'm going to do is stitch white? But this one, I think, is not bad because a lot of this area, like in here in the snowman, and the, a lot of the area is actually not stitched. So it's actually the background fabric, which is white, that shows through and then you're not stitching all the white. So maybe that'll be helpful. So funny, even my mirabilia that I'm working on, I'm like, of all the mirabilias, all the colorful mirabilias out there, and I pick Roses of Provence, which is like 80% of her dress is white. I don't know why I do that to myself, but anyway. And the last one I have here is Beacon at Rocky Point, and this is the second of my of my two lighthouse kits that I have. And there is another Rocky Point um, gold collection kit. And it's just called Rocky Point, but this is Beacon at Rocky Point, which is the petite. So there's actually two, the full size kit and then the petite that have Rocky Point in the name, just so you know. That reminds me of home. I'm from the coast, East Coast. And I remember in the summers we would travel around Nova Scotia, New Brunswick, and Prince Edward Island and go travel and see all the different lighthouses. And this really reminds me of one of those. So anyway. That's it for my petite. All right, this is it. These are the last of my kits. It's the full size gold collection dimension kits. Um, some of these don't have cover photos, but I printed some off the internet. So again, I look for deals. I've found great bargains on kits out on eBay and sometimes you can find them on Etsy, but a lot of times there will be um, kits out on eBay and they don't, they're missing the outer packaging. And that was what was the case in this first one I'm going to show you. And it's called Victorian Elegance. I think this has been around for a long time. And I'm pretty sure that you can still get this, you know, with all the packaging. Like, I think it's even on Amazon. So I don't think it's rare or anything. But I just happened to find a deal on, on, uh, you on YouTube, a deal on eBay and it didn't have the cover picture. All it had was just the contents of the plastic pouch, but it's not open. It's totally sealed. Nothing wrong with it. It's got all the materials. It just didn't have the outer packaging on it and they marked it down to it was like 10 bucks or something. I was like, 10 bucks? Yeah, I could take that. So, so that's where I got that one. That is so pretty. I've seen this stitched up a couple times on YouTube, on Floss Tube, and the people that show it are just like, it's it's so pretty. I really love this one. I always wanted this one, but 
I never got it. And then when I saw it, I was like, yep, okay, it's mine. All right, the next one. Oh, the next one. This is a really pretty one. I really love this one. It's in a bag, and I'm sorry it's crinkling. I'm trying to take it out of the bag. This is another one that I got, and it didn't have, it was like not sealed. But I'm going to take it out of the package. It basically came like this. It was open, but it, it came in a bag. But because it came in a bag and it was open, it has everything in it. Like everything's there. All the flosses, the pattern, everything's here. But it was open. But this is one. Oh, again, another winter scene, but oh my goodness. It's called Winter Memories. I'm going to have trouble holding this one because it's out of bag but look at that with the, the house and the cardinals look at that again look at all the white why do I do this to myself well that's probably why I haven't started it yet either but oh look at oh I just love those cardinals cardinals in the winter we have cardinals in our backyard they my husband feeds them he's got special feet you know bird seed for um, attracting songbirds and the cardinals. We have them all year round, but they're especially beautiful in the winter after it snows and they're red. Just the red of their feathers against the background of the snow. Just, he gets some really, really pretty pictures. But this is one of my favorite all-time kits that I've ever had. So um, I, I do want to start this one, but not in 2022, not yet. The next one is called Wreath of Roses and glare sorry <laughs> this is so beautiful there's a, a series of wreaths um there's this one with the roses and there's a couple of other ones as well um, but this one and this is one of those ones i was talking about earlier the artist is lena Liu. she does all of these um, designs with the wreaths um she also did um she was also the designer of the one I showed in my whip parade that had the hummingbirds with the inner circle and then it had the outer circle with all the gold thread around it. The hum hummingbird, um, oh, what's it called? It's not Finery of Nature. What's the other one? I'll put it on the screen. I can't remember the name of it right now. <laughs> Too many. Uh, anyway, this one, one of the wreaths, it's just absolutely gorgeous. And the next one is another one of the wreaths called the Hummingbird Wreath, which is also another design by Lena Liu. She designed this one as well. And I think the third one that she did was a wreath, I think it was called a wreath for all seasons. I'm probably gonna have to get that one. If I have the first two, then I might as well get the third one. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, this is a, that's a really pretty one with the hummingbirds. Love hummingbirds. So that's that one. All right. The next one is called, oh, this one is a stocking. I got this one a long time ago. And it's funny because if you look at it, it's called Glistening Snowman Stocking. If you look at this, it's like the stocking version of my Midnight Snowman. It's on my shelf that I stitched up. It's got the fox, it's got the deer, it's got the squirrel, it's got the snowman, the tree. It's almost, almost the same, but there are a few small differences, but not many. And I thought, when I, I had already finished stitching this one and then I saw the stocking and I thought, oh, that would be really cool stitched up as a stocking. But do you think they've ever prioritized stitching a stocking? When I have so many kits, no. And then I thought about it and I'm like, well, I already stitched it once. Am I really going to want to stitch it again? <laughs> Even though it's a stocking and not, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what I was thinking. You know what? I was just thinking like, oh, beautiful dimensions, kid. I must buy that. <laughs> That's probably what I was thinking. So anyway, going to hang on to it. You never know. Someday, you know, th grandkids someday, maybe I'll be able to get a few stockings in my collection and make each of my grand future future grandkids a stocking uh, my daughter is engaged so exciting she got engaged over the holidays over Christmas so um, one step at a time let's deal with the wedding first <laughs> marriage marriage is what brings us together today
but that's really exciting in our family so next one is called okay this one my husband bought it for me for Christmas uh, it is from what year is it from 1996 so it was one of our very first Christmases together I want to even say it might have been our first Christmas 1999 was our first Christmas after we got married and he bought this kit for me and I don't think you can find it anymore but it's one of the most beautiful it's called innocent guardian it's one of the most beautiful designs of kits that I think I've ever seen and it's right up the same lines as um, what they have out now with um, spring fairy and there's an autumn fairy and this to me is just like in that same category of the beautiful angels and fairies and I wish that dimensions would do more of these I think they're absolutely gorgeous and this one where the angel is holding the deer oh it's so beautiful this has always been one that I always wanted to start it and then I'm like it's so pretty I, I don't know I just I'm, I'm I don't know I don't know why I don't start it maybe I will but there was also the idea that well I think it's pretty rare and it's pretty hard to find so I don't want to start it unless I'm really ready to work on it and finish it because it, I wouldn't want to spoil it and just do like just do a start on it and then like I did with my Santa stamp where I started it but then I could have just if I didn't stitch it I could have given it to someone else to stitch it so I think I have to be ready to start this one and actually finish it all the way through I, I just don't want to I don't want to start it and just have it sitting in a bag somewhere and not not worked on it's too pretty for that. It, if it gets started, it needs to be finished. So this again is probably like top three of my favorite kits that I've ever had. So very, very special one. Thank you to my husband for being so thoughtful. Of course he got it at Michael's. Back then you could get these ones at Michael's. They were, you know, this, this was what was current at the time, so. Um, the next one I have is one of my horse patterns, one of my horse kits, and it's called Mare and Full. I have a, I have a couple of horse kits because I love horses. Hard not to get the glare on that, I'm sorry. Uh, this one I think is very uh, popular. I think you can still get it. I could be wrong, but no, I'm pretty sure. I think I looked even in the last like six months or so and I think I still saw it out available. That one's really pretty. And the next one is Horses by a Stream. This is, uh, I wanna say, I think you can still get this one too. I think it was reprinted in Russia, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, when I look at the back, I can see it's got a tag there um, and that looks like either it looks like Russian so I I do think that I might have ordered this one from someone on Etsy or eBay and it was it was shipped to me from Russia but really really pretty so my unicorn kit is called frosty morning I don't know if you guys know what that one is it's another horse designed another horse kit and it is horses with a winter in the background and but that would be my unicorn kit that would complete my my set of three horse designs that I want to do but I have not seen frosty morning I haven't seen it in since I started looking for it and that was probably two years ago I've never seen it posted anywhere online I've never seen it on eBay I've never seen it anywhere so might never find that one, but that's all right. Whatever will I stitch if I can't have frosty morning? Gee. <laughs> um, next one is called Peonies and Delphiniums. This one I got for Christmas in 2020, Christmas of 2020. One of my daughters got this one for me. It's really pretty. And I think this one has a lot of backstitch. Yeah. It does. It's really pretty, but it has a lot of backstitch up in these, up in the flowers. So, hmm. I don't know. I gotta be in the mood for backstitch. I'm trying right now as I go when I'm working on current projects, my dimensions kits. I'm trying to backstitch as I go because it's I, 
if I leave it to the end, I'll look at it and go, oh great, now I just get to do backstitch. And if I'm in a mood for backstitch, I can go crazy with it. So if I'm in a mood for backstitch, I'll backstitch as much as I possibly can as I go. And that way I don't leave it till the end because I think it's, yeah. especially with some of these flower, these floral collection kits, it's a lot of backstitch. And this is uh, called Parrot Tulips. And this is another one that my daughter got me for Christmas in 2020. That was a year both of my girls um, went on my wish list and picked out some kits for me because they know I love Dimensions Gold kits. So that one, I just, look at this down here. Doesn't that look realistic? I think the art in this is just amazing. It looks, it looks just so real. I could see this one hanging on a wall and thinking, wow, that it probably would look like a photograph. And if, you'd have to get up really close to see that it's a cross-stitch design. All right. So these are my last five kits. And, and that's it. And I haven't been counting, so I don't know how many I've been showing you, but. I'll tally it up and put it on the screen somewhere. So this one's called The Guardian. Another one with wolves. And I say wolves because there's more than one. And every time I look at this, I think, oh, look at the pretty wolf. And then I go, oh yeah, there's another one. <laughs> and he's hidden down in there, but yeah, I, I think that's a really nice one. I'm wondering how, I wonder how quickly I would get bored with the colors though. Not that it's not beautiful, but a lot of the patterns that I really gravitate to are very colorful. And this one doesn't have quite as much color in it. But, I don't know. I do love it. Anything with nature. There's wolves, animals, nature. <laughs> anyway. Um, the next one is called Twilight Bridge. Lots of people stitching this one. I've seen this on so many floss tube channels in the last since I've been binge watching the last couple months um, lots of whip parades and I've seen this in a lot of whip parades so I got this one for Christmas uh, 20 this is another Christmas 2020 gift from one of my daughters sorry for the glare reflecting everything but oh, I just love that one Another one that you could just dream about living in that little cottage as you're stitching it and think, oh, what a cute little place to live. Yeah, cross stitch is like an escape for me. The next one is called Winter's Hush. I'm gonna be honest, I don't even remember buying this one. Um, I think I've looked at this one like in the last couple of years on eBay or Amazon or something and thought, oh, look, another winter scene. I should get that one. And then thought to myself, I better go check and see if I have that one. Because there's a few of these winter scenes that kind of blend together for me. Like they look the same or very similar. And anyway, I think I almost bought this one once and I was so glad I checked because I already had it. And I didn't remember buying it. But really, really pretty one. Another winter one with lots of white. But you know, when you think about it, it's supposed to look white, but there's actually a lot of other colors in there. You know, you're not even stitching on white, you're stitching on, um, what is the color of the fabric in this one? Well, oh, gray. <laughs> like I couldn't look at this and say it was gray. I had to look and read the package to tell you that gray was gray. Anyway, that's telling me that we're getting close to the end of my video. I'm getting silly. Weedly, weedly. All right, the next one's called Pleasures of Winter. Another one that's really, really pretty with the horses and the house and the birds up in the background. And that's like another pretty one. And my last one, actually my last one is one that I showed in one of my update videos. It's called Enchanted Ornament Stocking. So I've already shown this one before, but since I'm doing a parade of my kits that I haven't started yet, I might as well put this one in too. Uh, several people working on this one. Georgia Girl Stitching just bought it. I don't think she started it. And I'm pretty sure that Colette the Highway Stitcher is working on it. 
and some other folks as well. And I apologize that I don't know all the names of all the floss tubers. Um, but another cardinal. We got the deer and the winter scene. This is really pretty. I think it's a really pretty one. And that's it. That is the last of my Dimensions kit stash. And I'm not promising anyone that it will ever be the last. <laughs> I do try and get them every so often if I find one that I like, but keep in mind, I've been collecting these, you know, for gosh, like 25 years. It's not like I've bought these all in the last six months or anything. You know, I started getting some when I first got married and I, or before I got married. And then just through the years, you know, I had some as gifts. I found some on eBay on discount or used coupons at Michael's and Joann's. So it's been a long time, you know, collecting these kits. So I don't want anyone to think that I just went out and bought a bunch of crazy stuff. So anyway, that's my parade and I hope you enjoyed it. Um, hope if you liked it that you might consider checking out some of my other videos. I have a whip parade, which is actually my kits that I started of the gold dimensions gold collection kits that are in progress not a lot of them have tons of you know progress on them some of them are some of them are getting closer to halfway so um i have another whip parade for my uh mirabilia and fancy ladies and i have another video with a whip parade of my full coverage because i kind of have a little bit of everything and i have a bunch of whips that i haven't even put in a parade yet because they kind of fall in a bucket of like everything else so like my kitchen sink of cross stitch it's leaflets it's Teresa Wensler it's Paula Vaughn it's um, samplers it's it's kind of everything else that doesn't really fall into a category of full coverage dimensions or mirabilia and fancy ladies so maybe I'll do a parade of those as well because I have 76 I had 76 whips at the start of 2022 and now I'm down to 74 and soon I'll have only 73, but I'm not going to spoil that. I have a, I'll have an update video coming out in the near future and I'll give you an update on my whips that I'm focusing on for now. So, all right. Well, thank you so much for watching again. I thank you. Thank you again for the support and, um, for commenting on my videos and, you know, it's, it's, you wonder when you put a video out, is, is this what people want to see? And, um, so if you have anything that you want me to show, or if there's, um, I'm thinking about maybe some videos on how I sort my threads. I have a couple of different ways that I sort my threads and organize them when I'm working on dimensions kits. Maybe I can show that. Um, but that's it for today. And anyway, if you like my channel, please subscribe. Um, Otherwise, have a very stitchy day.